Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of my mammoth build. A lot has happened. All of the painting has been done, uh, which is absolutely fantastic and I'm over the moon with it. So, I gave you a little teaser uh, in the last video about what the colour would be and it's a Halfords Enamel uh, Gadget Blue it's called. It just looks, the finish is just absolutely incredible. So I'm starting with the smaller things, smaller things first. We will get onto the cab um, and over there, the floor. There is an interior in bits and pieces, so there's lots to see. So please stay tuned. Uh, just really wanted to show you this bit first because, you know, I think, the, well, this was the first thing I sprayed and first thing I did. So this is the fan housing that goes over the top of the motor. Um, keeps the motor cool. These hinges, the way they work, are absolutely fantastic. And these little tabs that go in the holes, everything just seems to close and fit really well. Um, the one thing I shouldn't have done really was paint the hinges uh, because they've started to peel off. Uh, I wish I'd have just left them as they were, but you know, never mind. Bit of natural kind of use and weathering, I suppose. So really it's just to look at every single, the bigger panels I guess, uh, and you can see that the paint has gone on really smoothly. And as I go through, walk you through this, I'll tell you how exactly I did this. A um, little bit of advice from Andrew, but I will say I've done the whole thing on my own. There's been no assistance uh, physically from anybody else. And I am super proud of that fact and so happy how this has come out. And we've got studio lights here, but this thing really pops in the sun. It's gorgeous. So probably the biggest uh, surprise or new thing, if it hasn't escaped your attention, BC8 body kit. Now that is the big box flatbed, which is something I, I, I came to late really, I think, because I, the fifth wheel that sits on the back of the chassis, I don't like it, it flaps around all over the place and it's just nap. So I decided to get the box on the back. Andrew had always said, whoops, all along, oh, don't get the box because it just doesn't look right. It's a tra tank transporter, you know, vehicle transporter. Um, but having seen them in the flesh with this on, I think they look pretty cool. And it's big, right? I mean, I don't know why I was surprised it was big uh, because it's a big rig, but yeah, you can carry a lot of stuff in here. And it's well made. The kit goes together. I think it was 60 pounds from Green's models. And it, I will show you the manual. You have to glue the whole thing together. It comes in bits, flat packed. Um, the manual is pretty good. I've never had an issue with cross manuals to be fair. So yeah, ABS uh, cement, and it really does uh, come completely separate. So all these bits have to go on the strips here, these lines across here. It wasn't particularly difficult to build, but I would recommend that you have some like plastic um, crocodile clamps um, to keep things together and true, because they do tend to slide around a little bit. I use liquid poly glue, which tends to go off fairly quickly, sets really nicely. And you know, if any overspiller glue, you can just sand down with some fine uh, wet and dry, but really impressed with how it went together. Only thing I've got to do with this now is, um, put the rubber mud flaps on so that's the last thing to do so we then have these are the kind of side runners so they go behind the cab and this joins up then with the um, flatbed so they're also blue the whole truck's blue uh, i haven't got the hubs here with me they're in the garage uh, i've got to bring them through but the hubs are blue as well so it's a very much a blue theme going on and I love that. I've laid all this out on the chassis and it looks awesome with the black uh, wheels on it with the blue uh, hubs. So, but you're not gonna see that quite yet. That will be coming up in the next video. So let's have a look at the cab, I think. And awesome. Just look at that beauty. She is amazing. Now. The windows are a bit dirty and they were, they were loose. They weren't in a bag, well they were in a bag, but they were loose in a bag. So that's not glue, that's just how they were. I prefer the side windows actually, because the side windows are a kind of thinner, different material. Um, the front windows are a kind of thicker plastic, but 
they're fine. You know, I've got no issues where they get kind of grubby and anything anyway, but there's no glue marks on them, which I'm really proud of. The other thing I'm proud of is I freehand painted these window seals. So I tried putting masking in, but there was a deep groove in there and I just couldn't get the groove right. And black and any other color really, um, especially like light blues like this, whites, red, it's a nasty color to do because it's such a contrast that any over line, any over spill on the lines really stands out. It's nasty. And I'm really happy with how that came out, especially freehand. I was drinking a beer and sweating doing it because uh, of the concentration but I am super pleased. I, you know, I've, I've done quite a few models now and I was so nervous. I'm not good at fine detail, but I really took my time, patience, and it's paid off because it looks amazing. So the lenses are in, that's been done today. Uh, indicate lenses and the headlight lenses. Um, the interior, we have the dashboard in. Now this dashboard is awesome. So behind this dashboard, you uh, well there's stickers that go through here that you can see the dials. But those stickers sit on a bit of perspex and they glue into the back of this dash here. And then you've got an LED light which runs out from here. So the whole thing lights up. And I can't, I'm not going to show you now because that will ruin it. So the next video is going to be finished and on the, on the truck and I will show you uh, a video of that lit up because I want to see it in the cab. There's also the cab light up the top is in here as well. And yeah, it, it, it's gone in really well. There's some accessories in here. Andrew was bugging me and on stop and said, oh, just so you don't look at the bottom with the seam line of the window, why don't you roll up a bit of material, put it on top of the dash so I have. And if I turn it round, there is a bag and a pistol in there as well. You can see that, focus camera. Yeah, I mean, how hard I'm trying to see to get in there and see it. You're never going to see this, but this is just, it's Andrew, what do you expect, Mr. Fiddle? Um, so that's, you know, he'd have kept moaning at me for ever, etern ever an eternity. So the colour on the cab has gone on really well. Again, it's such a smooth finish. I've managed to get an even finish all the way around, and I'm so pleased about that. I mean, the detailing on this is just incredible. It's just so cool. So to go with that, I haven't got them all out, but you've got the, um, I want to say flaps. <laughs> We're on dodgy territory saying that. Uh, yeah, so um, the doors for the engine bay, uh, or for me to get to the battery and the electrics, so do you want to prop, the, prop, prop, these, prop, prop these on here? I mean, the, the, the detailing of these vents here, it's just, I think this blue is the right color for this. Andrew's been, he's been cursing me a little bit on uh, WhatsApp and messages, but not as much as I think he wants to, because he said, oh, you've got such an eye for color. And I, I tend to do, I have picked some of the best colors out of our rigs. And I mean, this, it's just lovely. And I don't want to slide too much, but it's just the way the light glistens off it. So. The way I painted this was, um, again, it's the Enamel Halfords Gadget Blue, and they recommend Enamel Grey Primer. So I used that, so I primed it all. Not too thick, but Andrew's suggestion, and this has been his only, only involvement with this project, is get some 2000 grade, decent wet and dry, and literally go over one pass, one pass with water, just quickly over each surface. Now that's taken a while, but what's happened is it's, ugh, see I'm breaking it already. So what's happened is it just gives you this, it smooths the primer and it just gives this really nice finish. So on the inside, I haven't done that. And the finish is a little bit flatter. So the primer's rough underneath, it hasn't been sanded at all. There is a difference. So, you know, I didn't want to do it on the inside because I didn't want to waste more paint and time and everything else. Uh, th this paint has been like a magnet. So I've sprayed with polycarbonate on Lexan. I've sprayed, that's Tamiya. I've sprayed with Tamiya acrylics. I've sprayed with Halfords acrylics, plastic coat enamel. I think that's it. And this is the first time I've used Halfords enamel and it's gone on. It's just like a, it just, it's like a magnet. It sticks to everything. It's so easy to paint and it's such a good finish. I mean, outside in the sunshine, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. 
And again, you know, I've gone over everything. It's had a lot of paint on it, a lot of coats. I wanted it shiny like this. So it's probably had almost, well, it's had nearly 90, about 900 mils worth of paint on the whole, for the whole thing, not just the cab. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's been worth it because I, I wanted it looking, you know. My idea of this is that it's a show truck. So it's been in the military. It's been uh, re refurbed, if you like, and it's been repainted and brought back to life. Not absolutely spotless, but it's pretty clean. So it's a civilian truck that's that's been done for shows. So the next thing I'm going to bring out is one of the doors to put that on the side to show you. Just plop it, plop. What is it with me saying plops? <laughs> so yes, I've done the the same way freehand. The um, I oh know I didn't do that freehand. I masked that. Apologies. Um, the door seals. It just it looks awesome. So I sprayed everything separately. All the doors at the top, the hinges, and these doors. And you know I kept checking, and the the colours the same. The finish is the same. Uh, I'm so proud of it. I have learnt by my mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes on other models and I've made no mistakes with this. There's not a single piece on this that I am unhappy with. So that is amazing. I didn't really feel that nervous painting it either. I did a lot of painting over the Easter bank holiday, the Easter weekend, because we've and we've also had some great weather. So this would have taken me so much time. Um, I've been working at home, so when I've logged off, I then go outside and spray. I haven't got the usual hours journey to get home and then start spraying. So it's it's been a lot quicker than it would have been normally. This is a big build. You know, there is a lot to it and it takes a long time and it's been amazing. Enjoyed every minute of it. These doors, I haven't bolted on the hinges yet, um, but I really like how they look. I also like this handle as well. Um, you turn it and that comes out and it stops the doors opening. The doors on the MC6 and the MC8 do not stay shut. They are, they were from mine and Andrew, mine have been worse, they are a nightmare. They are rubbish. And these look a lot better. Um, hinges work quite well. I was a bit sticky there with paint because I hadn't touched it for a little while. But yeah, they, they're very impressive. All the handles, all the sprue marks, I kind of, I scraped off with a knife so you couldn't see the sprue marks, so it just, yeah, a lot of effort has gone into this and I am so happy with it. So without further ado, let's look at the last thing. And that is the interior. So the interior is all one flat piece with the fuel tanks bolted on, or glued on, sorry. And then you've got the battery tray here. So this sits underneath where the doors are. There is a wall here at the back of the cab. Um, so you don't see all this part. Again, the paint has been great. It's gone on nicely. Uh, it's taken a lot of paint. There's a lot of edging and things. And, you know, I've painted all underneath as well. So everything's been coated. So again, I've sanded this down. So everything has been painted that you can see in the same way. It's only the bits that are hidden that haven't been sanded. So I used old bicycle inner tube for floor mats. Um, seats were obviously just spray black oh that hasn't stuck has it i put quite a bit of glue on there as well and that hasn't stuck down that's annoying i mean, just noticed that hey ho that didn't work anyway um <laughs> no it's anything wrong with these legs they're a tad shorter than they should be uh, a bit of butchery's gone on and that's because i could have just cut his legs off like i did with the character in the mc6 but i had never hear the end of it then he always goes on so i thought right i'm going to glue his legs back on so he's a tad bit shorter and he is probably well i have an issue with some of the crossing the cross interiors this and the mc6 i personally don't think when you look at pictures of the real trucks they are necessarily scale there is a lot of height between the back of the seat and the roof of the cab so someone that sits i had a character that was smaller than this about four and a half inches tall this one's six sits great here but when you put the cab on just looks lost in there so i'm not going to put the cab on yet because the, the the dashboard's in the way and you have to move things around it's a right fiddle so you're going to have to wait to the next video to see that can't give you everything in one go 
Um, so you have to wait until it's on the chassis and all the lights are put in. But yeah, uh, I couldn't stand looking through the front window and having this tiny little person. And uh, this character, you'll see when, when it's finished, it, it fits really well. The scale of upper body is spot on. It's really, really good. Um, well, the seat's stuck that side. Anyway, really pleased, over the moon. It's just going to look epic. Um, and it sounds like I'm blowing my own trumpet. I guess I am a little bit, but why not? Because this was an expensive model. I didn't really feel that nervous about it. I felt really quite comfortable about it. And that's probably why it's turned out like it has, because, you know, I've made some mistakes. I also know, I think, that when you paint something, I learnt, I've learned now how to cut it back and just repaint. So it's not a disaster. I didn't need to, but I think that made me feel a lot happier. With the MC6, I was like, oh no, you paint it once and that's it. I, I didn't know enough. Um, I didn't have enough experience to know you can fix things. So I, I have been wearing a mask, it's in the background, but I think my whites, my eyes have gone blue because there's been so much paint. My trusty marigolds look, um, they've had a lot of use and I've had a, quite a few headaches with all the painting that I've done. Uh, Cause I think, you know, the surfaces have pretty much had three coats of blue and the odd fourth coat in the places where I want it, it hasn't quite been as smooth or as consistent as I've wanted. So there's a lot of attention's gone into it. Um, so yeah, I mean, well, I can't really say much else to be honest. I think that bit goes on here, like oh, it must be the other way. The other side anyway, yeah, something like that, yeah. Awesome, but you'll have to watch the next one. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the color and seeing what's gone on. And um, I'm very, very, very nearly there. And then uh, we're in lockdown, so I can't run it when it's finished. So I have been delaying this a little bit and I've got a few other things going on, not related to RC, other projects. Um, so things have been delayed slightly, um, but you know, I don't want it to end really. I do and I don't, I'm, especially I'm glad now the painting's done because it was dragging on a bit and it's a lot of work, but it's been worth it. So thank you always for watching. I hope you like this build video. Um, if this is the first one you've seen, please go and check out the others because it goes right from the beginning to this stage. Andrew's got some great projects, well, great build video going on with the CA30 at the moment. So uh, when we're allowed out, finally we can run them and it's gonna be epic. So I hope you're all staying safe. You're not doing too crazy by staying in. Please stay safe, look after yourselves. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you soon. Bye for now.